Hey guys, what's up? Matt here from iTech224. So a few weeks ago, I actually switched all my devices over to Chrome. I had been using Chrome on the desktop for a while, but then it came out on iOS, so I decided to start using it there because I like some of the functionality that I got with it. As of yesterday, I've actually switched back to Safari. There are a few reasons I did this, and most of them is because of the functionality I get and the syncing capabilities that I get that I don't get in Chrome. Apple claimed that iCloud was going to sync everything together and make everything seamless, and with this new Mountain Lion update and iOS 6, it seems like this is what's happening. So let me go into Chrome and show you what I actually liked about it and why I decided to switch over my mobile devices there. So if we go over here, this is Chrome, open up to Google, and if you use Chrome, this is Chrome, this is all there is to it really. So it's nice, you get all your tabs up here, and you can open up Mini Mini, it looks really nice, very sleek. I like it a lot. It's very simple nothing really to it and it works now I don't know exactly what this is but I cannot update it to save my life even though I know there's an update available every time I do it it says there's not one available even though the version I have is not the one that's currently out so I don't really understand what the heck is going on there and also some of the functionality actually just disappeared as of yesterday I don't know where it went so if I go over here to Google I'll go ahead and go to Apple now so there it goes loads Apple so before yesterday, I was able to scroll back and forth on my trackpad to go between pages, and for whatever reason, that functionality disappeared. I don't know why. I didn't change any settings. All I did was take it off my dock. So I don't know why that would change anything. I don't know what's up with that, but that is gone. And there's just little things like that that just don't seem to work as perfectly as they should. Now the main reason why I switched over to Chrome in my iOS devices is because when they released it for iOS, there was an ability to go ahead and send a page that you are looking at on your computer over to your phone, which was awesome. But after using it, it's just not as good as it seems. First of all, it's in beta, so you have to sign in and it's kind of quirky. So I go ahead and click on the phone and this is what how you do it. So here it pops this up, but normally if you don't use it for a while, it disconnects and you're going to have to re-sign in. I just did this right now because I was testing it. So that's really annoying because I don't want to sign in every single time I want to send a page to my iPhone or to my iPad. So once I do it, it works. It's not a big deal. But there's no ability for me to send it from my iPad to my computer, which is something that I really want. So other than those things, there's no problems with it. It works fine. It's really fast. I have no problems besides those little quirks and annoyances that annoy me personally, but I find that after the few days that I've been using Safari, it's a lot better with the things that I like. So things that I want on software that's in multiple platforms is the ability for it to sync over correctly, not have to worry about it, I want to be able to do it both ways, and then once you're on the desktop experience, or the mobile experience for that matter, I want to know how you use it and how well it works. Now for a Mac, Safari is much better in the usability department, and it is much more polished and it's much more stable. So if we go over to Safari, it's not much of a change. It just looks like another browser. We have our tabs, we have our bookmarks bar, and everything looks normal, and it is. So I'm just going to show you why I like it better and what about it makes it better for me. So the main thing on the desktop is all the multi-touch features. So I can zoom in or out with two fingers. As you can see here, if I need to see something better, I know you can do this in Chrome, but it's a lot smoother in Safari, and it just that's something that matters to me, is how smooth something is. That matters to me a lot. So it's it works, and it works very well, very easily. Also, you can open multiple tabs, like normal, and if I want to switch between them, all I have to do is pinch out, and then I can go between them, all without having to click anything. This is all just by swiping and pinching, and it works really well, so I can go ahead and go back over here, Again, I haven't done one physical click. This is all done just by tapping. Now, if we go over to apple.com like we did in Chrome, let me get there, then you'll see that one of the things that I really love is the ability to just go ahead and switch between going back and forth. So I can go back to the page I was just at. Like I said, you could do this in Chrome as well, but for me, it disappeared for some reason. So now that I have it back, it's a lot better. So there's just a lot of those little things that really make it a lot better, a lot easier to use, especially on a Mac. I understand why if you're on a Windows computer, this will not matter at all. But for me, it's a big deal and it really makes things easier. So now the biggest thing is how we're going to be syncing this up between the iPhone and the iPad. So if you go ahead and activate iCloud, basically you can see here, my iPad 2 has the Apple website open and you'll see that on the screen as well that in fact my iPad 2 does have the Apple screen so I can go ahead and click that and it's going to take me right to where I am on my iPad and I don't have anything open on my iPhone but it would do the same thing if I have it on there 
Now if I want to look at something on my iPad, I don't have to sync anything, I don't have to push any buttons, iCloud does it automatically so I don't have to worry about it, and I just go ahead and pick up my iPad and leave off where I was on my computer, and it works a lot better in my opinion. There's no buttons to click, there's no need to sign in, it just works a lot better. Now this isn't a feature or anything, but the last thing I want to say is that it's the default browser. So on iOS you can't change it unless you're jailbroken. So Safari is always going to open if you click in an app to take you to a web page or something like that. It's always going to open Safari. So it's just easier to be able to use it and not have to worry about my things being scattered everywhere, which is initially why I moved over to Chrome. But actually the transition over to Safari was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So now I'm happy at least for the time being. I am actually getting the Nexus 7 in soon, which has Chrome, so we'll see how that works. But hopefully it'll work fine with what I have now. But so far Safari is working beautifully, and I like it a lot better than Chrome for the overall experience right now. Anyway guys, I try to keep that as short as possible. That is why I switched over to Safari, and to me they're valid points. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know what you think about it if you would ever switch from Chrome. Like I said, my name is Matt from iTech224. Check out some of my other stuff, and if you like it, make sure you guys hit subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. See ya!